Welcome back. Today we are going to start talking about polynomial functions. So we're just going to kind of do an intro to polynomials today and then um, get deeper into them as we go through the unit. So some key things we want to know about polynomial. First of all, what is a polynomial? So the prefix poly means many terms. So we are talking about functions that have many terms. So those terms are monomials, which means generally a constant attached to a variable or some part of that, or it's a sum of them added together. So we'll look at some examples here, but we're combining monomials together. When we have a polynomial, it's only a polynomial if it has whole number exponents, so no fraction exponents, no negative exponents, just whole number 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. And then a polynomial is always a continuous function. So it's not discrete. It's always continuous. So that's a little bit about what a polynomial is. We're, now we're going to get into some examples and then talk about kind of their names that we use for them. If a polynomial has one term, we call it a monomial. So mono means one. And then again, it has that nomial for the terms. So some polynomials that have one term are could be just a number. So it's a, called a numeral monomial, where it's just like three or any number. We sometimes also call that a constant. Or a monomial can be just a variable. So just x is a monomial, just one term. Or it can be a combination of those two things. So it might be something like a number attached to a variable or more than one variable. When we're looking at a monomial, one term, it is always multiplied. When we start combining, that's when we get into um, polynomials that have the sum of monomials. So if something has two terms, it is called a binomial. So a binomial means two terms combined, two monomials combined, basically. So for example, it might be something like 5x plus another monomial like 7, right? So it's two monomials added together to make a binomial. All right, then we have three terms. So a three-term polynomial is called a trinomial. Just think about a tricycle with three wheels, a trinomial. So that would be three monomials added together. So for example, we'd have to have an x squared in there. And then we add an x term like 3x. And then maybe a constant term like minus 2. So when we're talking about these polynomials, they have each of the monomials that are added together or subtracted um, has its own exponent. So we couldn't combine it and condense it in any way, shape, or form. All right, and then our last one, anything with four or more terms is going to be called a polynomial. Let me zoom out so we can see that a little bit better. So that's going to be called a polynomial. So anything with four or more terms, we just call polynomial, meaning many. We don't have specific names after three. So um, something like this, we're going to have one term. Again, it can be anything, but some combination plus another term, maybe minus another term, and then minus a constant on the end. So four terms, four monomials added or subtracted together. So those are the names of our polynomials based on how many terms we're combining. So we have a monomial for one, binomial for two, trinomial for three, and polynomial for anything four or more. So when we're writing these polynomials, of any sort, we write them in what is called standard form. So standard form is how we have decided as mathematicians to write these polynomials so that they all um, kind of agree with each other. So there's two rules to standard form. The first rule is that the term with the highest exponent or highest degree goes first and then it decreases from there. So if we look at the trinomial that we wrote, the trinomial has the highest exponent first, squared, then x to the first, and then no x on the end. So it goes from highest exponent to lowest exponent. The second rule of standard form is that if we have two or more terms with the same degree, we always want to write them in alphabetical. So in the example there, if we have a 
x squared and a y squared term, the x comes before y because it's in alphabetical order. The same thing, we did the same thing um, on our polynomial up above, right? So in that polynomial, we had an x and a y, so we wrote them in alphabetical order, the x before the y. So those are the rules about standard form. So as we write polynomials going forward, we are going to make sure that they are in standard form. All right, and then the last important thing about a polynomial when we're writing it is something called the degree. So the degree of a polynomial is the term with the highest exponent or the largest exponent. So for example, if my polynomial is 2x squared y cubed, then my degree would be the combination of those exponents. So um, I have x squared and y cubed, so this would be fifth degree. It's the sum of those exponents. So whichever term in your polynomial has the largest exponent or the highest exponent, that is your degree. The number in that exponent is your degree. Okay. So based on the degree, we give these names. I'm going to zoom back in so we can see a little bit better here. So if the highest exponent or the largest exponent is 0, so in other words, it has no variable attached to it, that would be just a number, so like 5. When it's just a number, we call it a constant. So a constant is just a number. It has no variable with any exponent. If we have a first degree polynomial, so that's where we just have a variable to the first exponent or one exponent. So that would be like just x. Or it might be like 3x. That's a first degree. The um, highest exponent is just one. We call that a linear. So we have lots of experience with those from algebra one. A second degree is where it has some sort of x squared or some second degree. So something like x squared, we call that a quadratic. And I emphasize the quad because in a second you'll see there's a couple that sound some similar to that. So anything with a squared as the highest exponent is a quadratic. Anything with a third, so like x to the third power of some sort, is called a cubic. About a three degree square is cube. It's third degree, which is cubic. Fourth degree, so having something to the fourth power as your highest exponent. And this is the one that sounds like quadratic. It's called a quartic. So it sounds similar, but it's a different quartic. And then the last one would be fifth degree. So that would be like an x to the fifth power of some sort as your highest exponent in your polynomial. We call that a quintic. Like quintuplets is five babies, so quintic is fifth degree. Okay, so we're going to practice a little bit with looking at what are polynomials and what are not, and then classifying them by their degree and their number of terms, so giving them the names that we just talked about. So let's start with classifying polynomials. Remember, polynomials have to have whole number exponents. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 is kind of what we're looking at here. So in this first one, if we look at the variables, we have a square root of x. And if you remember, square root is x to the 1 half. So that would be a no because it has a square root in it. All right, if we look over at number 2 here, it does have a fraction, but that fraction is not the exponent. That's just a coefficient on the x. So my x to the first power is fine. So yes, that is a polynomial because it has whole number exponents. Okay, if we look at number three, we've got x to the negative five, x to the third, x to the second. That negative five, that negative five means it is not means it is not a polynomial, no negative exponents. That is not a whole number. Number four, we have three to the x, six to the x, and then x to the first. So if I think about my exponents, x is not a whole number, so that is also not a polynomial. 
because the exponents are not whole numbers. All right, on number five, we have x to the fourth, x to the second, x to the zero. Four, two, and zero, those are all whole numbers, so that would be a yes, all whole number exponents. And then lastly, if we look at this one, we have two x, two over x to the fourth and x to the first. So this one, x to the fourth, in the denominator is really x to the negative fourth, which is not allowed, no negative exponents. So this one would be a no because of that negative four going on there. So that's a little work just around classifying, or is something a polynomial or is it not? So now what we're gonna do is we are going to look at things and write them in standard form, then figure out the degree in terms and then give it its name based on the degree and the number of terms that we did on the front page. So standard form, remember, alphabetical order and highest exponent to lowest exponent. So when I look at number seven here, I have an x squared, an x, and an x to the third. So that negative 5x to the third needs to go first because it's the highest exponent, then a minus 8x squared, and then a minus 10x. So that would be the standard form, highest exponent to lowest exponent. And from that, I can see the degree, my highest exponent is three, and I had three terms added up there. So this is a third degree with three terms. So if we think about it, third degree is called a cubic and three terms is called a trinomial. So the name of that would be a cubic trinomial. All right, for number eight, again, writing it in standard form, highest exponent to lowest, I see just a negative 10, that's a constant, so it's gonna go at the end. And then I look for my highest exponent, that's a 10x to the fourth. Next highest exponent is the minus 7x squared. And then lastly, I have a 4xy, which would come next before the constant of negative 10. So my degree, my highest exponent here is a 4, and I had four terms being added together. So giving it its name, fourth degree is called a quartic and four terms, or any more than that, is called a polynomial. So this is a quartic polynomial. Okay, now we've got number nine here. That one, highest exponent to lowest exponent, so x squared, that would come first before the 10x. So that one was already in standard form. My degree, my highest exponent is two, and I had two terms combined there. So second degree, that's called a quadratic and two terms is called a binomial. It's a quadratic binomial. All right, number 10, that one is just one term, so there's no way to rearrange it. It would just be three X in standard form. The exponent on the, the X there is a one, and we only had one term. So first degree, that is called a linear, and then one term is a monomial. Okay, for our last one, when I look at number 11, I have an x, an x cubed, and an x to the fifth. So that x to the fifth term is gonna come out in front. And then my x to the third, and then my to end it. So my highest exponent that I had was fifth, and I had three terms being combined there. So fifth degree, that is called a quintic, and three terms is called a trinomial. So we have a quintic trinomial. That is your introduction to polynomial functions. We'll see you next time.